if we had all the money in the world and if this was a perfect world then that would be a there would be an easy solution but in the day in which we live there's not really an easy answer the number of homeless women and children is increasing at an alarming rate here in Central Florida. The Salvation Army says because there's a limit to the number of beds allowed for the homeless, they're running out of room. News 13 Stephanie Quinn, you joins us from the newsroom. And Stephanie, this isn't the only problem the Salvation Army is facing. Jackie, the area commander tells me the Salvation Army is also running out of money. In fact, they're facing a 60% cut in government funding. So who would be impacted? I spoke with two young mothers who shared with me how they became part of that growing statistic. People have failed me, family has failed me, friends have failed me, but God has always been there for me and he's brought me through. At 31 years old, Aziza Lindsay has lost faith in everyone except herself and God. Aziza is homeless and now lives here at the Salvation Army Women's and Children's Living Center in Orlando. She shares this room with three of her children and another family. Aziza remembers as a child helping the homeless, going to shelters, even prisons. She never imagined one day she would be the one needing help. Never, ever thought that I'd be in this situation. Ever. Aziza tells me she only recently became homeless, having chosen to leave an abusive relationship for the sake of her children. My children had witnessed a lot of that, and again, I live for my children, so you know it's mostly important that I got out for them. It wasn't even about me, it was for them. And now she's trying to get back on her feet. It's a story Salvation Army Area Commander Major Andrew Kelly hears every day. And that's really heartbreaking to see that. We've heard that too many times from people who are coming to help. Kelly says last year they averaged three to four hundred calls for shelter a week. This year they get about five hundred calls just for rent and utility assistance. And we're able to help less than 10 percent of those people who call. And we need to have more finances so we can help more of them. With major funding cuts and a citywide moratorium on extra beds for the homeless, Kelly worries this crisis will only grow. Jakia Mitchell is another young mother yes. here at the center. Only 21, Jakia behaves yes. older than her years. She's been on her own since she was 13 and is a mother of two-year-old twin girls with another baby on the way. She echoes Aziza's answer on who she turns to for strength. Honestly, I lean on God mostly because I really don't have anybody that I can really talk to. I can probably sit there and hold my girls one night and they'll lay in the bed and cuddle with me, but that's about it. At two years old, Jakia's twin daughters are too young to understand. It's a blessing for Jakia, who hopes one day to find a job and a home. It's good for me and it's kind of good for them so where I can have time until when they will remember a lot that I'll have myself fully developed. Jakia has quiet resolve. She tells me she doesn't even cry because what's the use? She dreams of having a home for her children and their father. But what she's looking forward to the most is a moment to breathe. I just want to relax. I'm tired. I just want to relax. Aziza, on the other hand, is bubbly and outgoing. You would never know she and her children once spent a week living under a bridge. Despite those dark days, she has a bright optimism about tomorrow. Four bedroom, three and a half bathroom home with a pool, big backyard, a puppy dog, another kid maybe. <laughs> Kelly hopes both women, like the hundreds of others who come doors, will make it. But he says it will take more than a miracle. I pray every day that the Lord will find ways to help us to find ways to, uh, to answer those problems. But I think we have to be in it for the long haul. Major Kelly tells me they're facing a catch-22 right now. Many of the people who normally donate to the Salvation Army can't afford to anymore. Some actually even need help themselves. Now, earlier this month, in an amazing show of generosity, the members of the First Baptist Church of Orlando pledged $5.6 million to fight the homeless problem. This came after the 60 Minutes, after 60 Minutes rather, filed a report about homeless children here in Central Florida. And Jackie, I have to tell you, definitely incredible to learn what a community can do. Absolutely. News 13, Stephanie Quinn, you're reporting. Now, if you would like to donate to the Salvation Army, we have a link to their website on our website at cfnews13.com.